The extreme heat that's scorched southern Australia over the past few days moved into the ACT today. The temperature hit a peak of 40.2 degrees mid-afternoon. That's just one degree short of the record high for January. It'll be just as hot again tomorrow, but with more wind prompting authorities to declare total fire bans across the ACT and in surrounding areas of New South Wales. Spare a thought for these blokes. It's a hard day at the office when it's 40 degrees out. An already dry summer compounded by the heat wave has dried Canberra to a crisp. And that's got many turning the taps and switching on the sprinklers for their thirsty gardens. Tuesday's consumption was 251 million litres of water that Canberrans used. That's the highest daily consumption that's been recorded for seven years. These street trees in Harrison are also in need of a good drink, taking in 100 litres at a time. I'm <laughs> very busy. <laughs> and we've, in fact, we've started earlier in the morning. We start at 6 instead of uh, 6.30. Uh, of course, it's for our benefit as well. With water usage up, dam levels are on the way down, but still at a comfortable 75% capacity. Inflows into the dams have, have essentially dried up. Splashing the wet stuff about isn't the only way to stay cool. For many, relief from the heat comes with the press of a button. ACTU AGL says demand for power peaks as people return from work, but consumption is still well shy of last year's highs. The system is um, standing up very well. We've had no uh, heat-related issues at all over the last couple of days. Uh, not expecting to see anything. In fact, uh, we've had very few unplanned outages, but that's predominantly because we haven't had any wind. Most heeded the health warnings by staying out of the sun and reports of heat stress were few. Although it was a different story at the cricket yesterday, with about 40 people treated for dehydration. But authorities warn it's not over yet, with another 40 degree scorcher predicted for tomorrow. And they're urging Canberrans to stay cool any way they can. Anna Morrisow, ABC News, Canberra.